In our demonstration today, we're going to show three techniques to take BIM data from the Tecla Structures model and move it to the field using a Trimble Robotic Total Station. The first technique is to show how we actually lay out a point very productively and accurately to a tight tolerance. The second technique is to show how we handle a deviation in the field because as we all know, deviations in the field are common and normal. We just have to understand what that deviation is and be able to transfer that information back to the model. The third technique we're going to show is how we collect an unknown position from the field to move it back into the model in order to place it in there and use it as a modeling point or as a data reference going forward. So our first technique, as we mentioned, is accurately placing a point in the field. In order to do that, we're going to select the points function from the LM80 handheld controller. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to zoom to the point and find it on the map. Once we've selected the point that we want to stake out, we're going to use the correction factors in the LM80 Nomad controller that give us a forward back correction to move to the point and accurately position it in the field. As you'll notice, when we hit the next button, the screen will now update showing us where we are in relation to the instrument and how we get to our point. So our first position tells us we have to go back and to the left. So as I move, you'll notice that the display will change and we'll start to have a targeting mechanism. Our goal is to put the green circle over the top of the red circle. And as we move closer and closer, the forward back left right factors begin to narrow down. So the closer we get and the more accurate we become, the more accurate these points are placed in the field. Once we've gotten our points to our tolerance, which in this case is within a quarter of an inch, we can mark the position and move to the next point. Our next technique we want to demonstrate today is how to handle a deviation in the field. If we have a design point that isn't able to be placed in the field where we expect it to be, it may be necessary to move it. The important factor is to actually record that as-built position and move it back to the model so that we understand that position as it relates to the original design. In order to do that, we're going to function in the exact same way as our previous technique. We're going to select a point using the map button. We'll pan to the position that we want to choose and select the point that we want to stake out. Again, after we choose that point, we'll click OK, move to the next button, and now we'll be able to move toward that point. As we start moving toward that point, again, we're going to see the forward, back, left, right correction change for us. Now, in the field, if we run into a situation where we actually have to store a point outside of the design tolerance, that's not a problem. In the LM80, actually all we have to do is go into what we call the stake button and we'll tap the stake button. It will then record that position, give us the deviation, and be able to then move that data back into the model to maintain integrity and understand the reference between the design and the as-built coordinate. Our third technique is we're going to actually collect unknown position data from the field in order to move it back to the data model. In order to do that, we'll cancel out of the stakeout screen. We're going to select measure site features and we simply walk to the position that we'd like to collect. This could be a manhole cover, it could be a control point that we want to collect, it might be edge of slab, or it may be a structural steel component that we want to add to the model. In any case, it's simply a matter of going to the point, making sure that the rod is plumb, hitting the shoot button, and collecting that position. Once we've completed that process, the point is stored, the data can be moved back to the model. Finally, when the field personnel is done, creating the deviation points and stakeout field points in the Nomad device with the Trimble Robotics Total Station, we can then synchronize that information back into the Tecla Structures model. To do this, you can open up the Layout Manager and specify the settings 
for the imported points. We can specify the size, the shape, and also the color of the point. These settings can be saved as a default. For the import process, we can either go and read the text file, we can synchronize directly with the device, or if we have been emailed the job file, we can then import the job file directly into Secla from our local machine. Start the import. We're going to synchronize the job file back into Tecla. Once the points are brought back in, we can zoom in and see if there are any deviations with the existing points and the field points.